I feel like I've slipped into another dimension today. I mean, just look at this. This is an Irish bar. An Irish bar, yes, you heard it right. In the middle of one of my favourite villages in this area. And this is the village of Intro d'Aqua. How cool is that? An Irish bar in the historical centre of this amazing town. Well, there you go. That's a different intro, isn't it? And today, I'm going to show you a palazzo. You want to live the high life in Italy? Just wait while you see this one. Okay, so this palazzo is right in the center of this great place. And here it is. Just look at this building. Absolutely beautiful. This one is a, <laughs> this one's a stunner. Really is. Views, you get to see straight down the, down the main street. And then you get views beyond of the mountains as we get uh, beyond the village in this direction you get the mountain uh, mountain views just look at this building it's the, the entire building and then you get huge storage rooms at the bottom that could be uh, it could be converted love these palazzo style buildings Okay, let's take a look inside this one. So, into this beautiful place, we have this huge entrance hall. There is quite a bit of stuff in this house. The guy likes his cycling, so uh, uh, <laughs> it is full of stuff, but this is beautiful. Now, there's a huge room at the back there, and one to the right of me, but we'll, we'll see that uh, once I've shown you the main house. So, we have a staircase. Up to the first floor, obviously. Let's start straight in the kitchen because this is one of my favourite rooms. Just look at this one. I'm speechless. The only thing I can hear is my squeaky shoes. Look at the flooring. Beautiful, stunning vaulted ceilings. Imagine if this, which I'm sure it will be, is the terracotta bricks. Just imagine what they would look like revealed. Having said all of that, because of this original flooring is quite a, uh, it's quite a statement, this room actually looks good just in this colour. Excuse the uh, squeaky shoes. <laughs> what a great kitchen. Marble surfaces. Lots of space. Fridge at the end. But lots of room if you wanted to have a, a huge, uh, a huge fridge. This kitchen is absolutely, this is stunning. It really is. And there's a small balcony. If I can open it up here. That looks down, down the street. And then there's another balcony here. I love these street scenes. You're looking straight down to the uh, if I can open it, looking straight down the main, the main street of this village. And it's limited traffic, so you're not going to, it's not that you're going to get loads of cars passing by, because people actually use a different road that's beyond these buildings, because there's loads of parking there. The council have put, just at the end of this, this building, you turn left, 
and there's loads of parking so people don't really come up here so it's dead easy to you can drive up here unload everything that you need to on the street below and then just park the car around the corner this is just beautiful this kitchen and I'm spending a, a lot of time in here but it's worth it okay let's go to the the other rooms a couple of options here I'll tell you why in a second I like to give my 10 pence worth of, uh, of ideas now this for me I mean look again how amazing this room is this is I'm actually I am a little bit speechless beautiful flooring again I love these original floors and just look how huge this place is beautiful vaulted ceilings again but for me what I would do here I would have this as the living room because the kitchen is plenty big enough for it to be a kitchen dining room you could get a huge table in there so for me this should just be just be a lounge it, it would just be just get some huge sofas in here and, and enjoy it as a lounge again a couple of little balconies same views as the uh, as the kitchen out on the out on the street and then what I'd be tempted to do a couple of things you could do here because off the lounge if you use it as a lounge there's a bathroom now it is always good to have a bathroom on this uh, on this floor this bathroom is huge and it's got a pre-bathroom area that maybe you could put a washing machine or something like that in or well, the bathroom is big enough to have a to have a washing machine in there the shower is uh is huge and what i think i'd be tempted to do although it is good to have uh, a toilet for guests and things like that when people are here to come and eat and the rest of it but you could also have a door through to the next room now the next room could be a second lounge if you need a second lounge or you could maybe have this as a dining area a formal dining area off the kitchen and then a lounge at the back but I think what I'd be tempted to do because this is like a, an extra room I'd be tempted to have this as a bedroom now you may say no I don't want a bedroom downstairs but to me it's always good think future you're future proofing a place you maybe don't want to do too many stairs just bear with me with this idea it would make a great bedroom and I think it's good to have or maybe even just have a sofa like this that pulls down into a bed but I'd be tempted to have this as, as the main bedroom because you've got a beautiful fireplace um, you could then knock at the door that was in the bathroom is actually somewhere here so that could almost be an ensuite for this bedroom you don't have to it's just there this room is so big I could just imagine this one maybe not being used too much I don't know I could be wrong tell me in the comments what do you think what would you use this for or maybe a guest a guest bedroom maybe just have a pull down sofa and have it as a, a second a second um, lounge or games room or something like that I'm sure you can think of something the heat in here there is gas but there's also pellet burning stove so and this I think this is connected to the radiators as well so a few options for for heating and again you've got these vaulted ceilings features 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 all over the place through here you know, I don't even know what's through here. I think it's just a little outside area where they put their bins and that kind of thing. Let's have a look. Yeah, it is just a, a small terrace. I suppose you could put some storage things out there. It is undercover. Handy little space. Okay. So let me know, as I say in the comments, what you'd use this for. But aren't these rooms fantastic? Absolutely brilliant. Let's move on to upstairs. So off this 
lounge or dining room, whatever you want to do. That's the other room there that I've just been in, the kitchen through there. We then take the stone steps. Again, they're a little bit steep, but that's just, that's the character, that's because they've got such high ceilings. And then we've got another three huge rooms. This, I would say, is the master bedroom. Again, some nice original flooring. These rooms are just, they're so big. The enormous wardrobe in here as well. Two. Great size. Not sure what's behind this little door. Oh, it's under the under the roof storage. It did mention that to me. What a size! And then from this, the windows are older windows. Some of them have got sort of double glazed in, but they are older windows. But they're, they're in great condition, so there's certainly no rush to change them. Little balcony again here. In fact, there's two off this bedroom. And look at the views. That is stunning. You're looking down towards Sulmola. Sulmola's just, just round this, this corner. And look at this. I really, I, I could live in this place. <laughs> With it being a grand palazzo, you know, that would just, uh, just suit me down to the ground. <laughs> Okay, let's carry on with the tour. So that's the other balcony. And then this bedroom has an enormous ensuite. <laughs> There's even a chest of drawers in this ensuite. Where's the light? There we go. Everything's just huge. So what I'd be tempted to do here is potentially split this in half and make two bathrooms out of it. One for this bedroom and one for the next one that I'll show you. Or you could just add en suites in with no problem in the other bedrooms. Enormous. All these original floors. The thing is they all have different floors. Look at the flooring in this one. And another enormous room. <laughs> Quite a few colour clashes in here. <laughs> May not be to everybody's taste, but that's just painting. And I'm just going to go straight out to look at the view again. Brilliant. This is a, an enormous room, really is. Brilliant, love it. Absolutely stunning. And then through here, we have another huge bedroom. Got a little bit of stuff in it. <laughs> bit of an accumulation of the years. But that's an old fireplace as well, hidden hidden amongst that. Again, huge. And this is where I was saying you could split that bathroom up. Because beyond there is that huge bathroom. So that could be split up to make an ensuite. Or it could maybe, I don't know, there's a few things you could do. Or you could add another bathroom into here, into this part of the, of the room. So this bedroom and the other bedroom could share another bathroom. Maybe have it in, in sort of this, this area. There's a way, I think that might be a better idea. And then these two bedrooms can share it. And the big bedroom has got the, the big ensuite. There's water in here. Apparently this used to be a school. 
That's why I suddenly have these strange little areas. That's another little hidden balcony. Somebody's outside spray painting something or cleaning something. There's always a noise on my video, isn't there? <laughs> these are just fantastic, these rooms. This property is just amazing. You know, just to spend a little bit more money in here and just make this something really, it's already something special, especially the kitchen area and the, the lounge areas. Maybe a little bit of work up here just to, just to make it, a, I don't know, a little bit more, a bit more, not modern, but just, just, I don't even know what I'm trying to tell you. I'm sure you'll know. This has changed these doors and things like that. Anyway, what a great place. So now let's head back down onto the ground floor and have a look. Uh, now they've stopped with the spray machine. And let's have a look at the, uh, the storage rooms that you get down there. So back in the hallway, we have a huge room with access to the street. The original floors on this. That's used as a workshop. Lots of storage, maybe for bikes, that kind of thing. Or maybe you want to open a little business. <laughs> Use it as a little shop. That's one of the storage rooms. And then the other one is where the heating system is. And again, just a massive, massive room. But this could be extra accommodation if you wanted it. This could easily be an extra bedroom if you need it. There's also plumbing here as well. And the waste pipes that come down from the bathrooms. You can have an ensuite in that corner if you wanted. Look at this for a heating system. <laughs> this is mega. All new as well. This is worth uh, quite a bit of money, this one. So it runs from gas, but then it runs as well from the, uh, from the pellet burning stove. It's quite an efficient system. Brilliant. This is, a, this is a great room as well. Maybe you don't need all these rooms, but it's still good for storage, isn't it? And then there's another one. I'll show you that because that's outside. The last of the storage rooms, that's the other one where I said you could have a little shop. The last one to finish with is this one. And once again, it's enormous. <laughs> Maybe you want to open a little bar. loads of space you could keep lots of things in here look at the original stone don't know if you can pick that up on the video that just shows what you could reveal inside the property polish this stone up properly properly it would just look amazing okay folks so that is the full property let's do my final thoughts so my final thoughts on this one, because I haven't used the word a lot in this video, I don't think, all I can say is stunning, 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 because uh, that's what this place is. It's just, uh, this is, for me, this is the, the Italian dream to have a palazzo of this style in such a great location, and for me, the price is superb as well on this one. Maybe you're looking for a big family home to enjoy summers and Christmases and things like that together. This would be the one. Just love it. I am lost for words. <laughs> Brilliant. Great location. Intro Dacqua has been on a few of our videos, five minutes away from beautiful Sulmona. But these smaller towns and villages, these are, I always say, these are the heartbeat of Abruzzo. These are the places that uh, you get to know people. This is where, this is where life is. And this village is well serviced. A couple of great bars, a couple of good restaurants. And then, as I say, it's so close to Sulmona that has everything. 
You could even cycle there. I just love this one. Don't miss it, whatever you do, don't miss it. If this is the kind of property you're looking for, a, a big, a large townhouse, this is a brilliant one. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much for watching this video, for supporting us as usual. Really appreciate it. Please give us a like and, and, uh, and write a comment. Let me know what you think. That really helps the channel. And remember to join us every Thursday live on Facebook and YouTube as we do our live streaming sessions talking about the legalities of buying a property in Italy amongst many other subjects as well. Don't miss this one, ladies and gentlemen. This is a beauty.